And as every morning, I'm starting my um, daily vlog on the driveway. In the middle of winter. I know, I know. I'm, I'm wearing shorts and a shirt and saying it's winter. It is winter. It is freezing cold. Okay, so what do we have? 7.7 .7 kilowatt hours. I need some more space here. That was from 29% to 100%. Remember when I got my car back last year from the cell smoothing procedure from the BMU reset? I could fit 10 kilowatts, 10 kilowatt hours in there. Now we are down to 7.7. .7. So that is probably 20% less. This wind. This morning I um, started the charging last night at about 10 p.m. and it finished at 4.30 this morning, 6 a.m. setting, 7 hours, whatever. Um, so I started the charging again this morning at quarter past 7 just to see what happens and it went all the way up to 1.3 kilowatts. Oh, no connection. And it is still charging again the second time so battery is full <coughs> no it's not connecting I need to restart the OBD god what a shitty unreliable yeah connect straight away look at this shit 98.7 percent state of charge the battery is probably really cold 13 16 degrees 98.7% state of charge. So the, the this morning the battery was down to 96% uh, only and that's why I plugged it in again. And um, yeah, it looks like the rest time was enough for the battery to settle down to 96% um, from potentially 100 so it's interesting to see if a rest of the battery makes a difference at all to the overall um, capacity. Basically, um, charge, charge the battery to full, let it rest on the high state of charge for a couple of hours and then top it up again. Wow, look at this. 0227 kilowatt hours again after the battery was full see what we have 99.3 percent state of charge okay this morning i managed to get to the intersection with 1.7 ampere hours only while yesterday i used 2.2 um, .2 or 2.3 um, because i uh, flogged the car <laughs> and this morning everything all right, just start driving a little bit more carefully. So the overpass and we have 6.7 ampere hours used. This is mainly because of the super, super strong headwind we have. You know what I mean? Super, super strong headwind from the west and it's freezing cold. It is. Okay, so I arrived here with 64.2% and get the dust away. Shut up. And 17 kilometers. I used half of my battery. Yep, 48% cold weather cold battery um, I'll ask these guys again if I can charge over there later on because I've got an appointment after work so this old computer I sponsor them is working well everything is up and running again and I can plug in the car again very soon excellent so it is 9 30 now I'm going to plug in the car here at the club just before the actual um, loss of charge happens. Huh. 
it lost already in minus 1.6 it lost it already okay Just putting my padlock on here to uh, prevent the EVSE from being stolen. Should be fine here. Gives me a predicted charging time of two and a half hours. Three hours later. Ah, beautiful Queensland winter weather. Awesome. It's still cold though. Okay, three hours later. The car should be fully charged now. I'll take it out of the bay, park it on the reel. Look at this guy. Where is he parking here? It's flashing. It's fully charged. How good is that? How good is that? We are fully charged at 1 a.m., 1 p.m. <laughs> Let's see how much we got. 10 amp granny charger. So we've got 99% just recharged here at the club again. Gives me 36 kilometers only. That's all I'm getting. Man, look at this storm. There was shit flying around everywhere. Ooh. So let's see after parking for a while and let's see okay it hasn't that's not <laughs> it hasn't picked up but it was at 99 percent so it's one percent down um during parking that's fine because i measured straight away after we um, fully charged after we fully charged and it always settles down afterwards a little bit so we are at 98 percent that means i will turn on the heating we've got 16 degrees outside but these are Australian 16 degrees so they are not like like European or North American 16 degrees this is Australian 16 degrees which is in in real world only probably six degrees oh yeah the battery goes down already heating seems to work <laughs> Yep, four and a half kilowatts, full power. Okay, let's um, see my customer fix their computer and then we go home to sit near the fireplace. The, the appointment is not far away from here. It's about, I don't know, five, six kilometers away from here. So there should be plenty of juice in the battery um, to get me there and home, including heating my ass. <coughs> All right, let's give this a go. I've never driven with heating on. I've, oh my god. I've lost 1% already. Better go. So, after 1.2 kilometers, the heating has already turned off and kicks in only occasionally now to keep me warm. But the battery is already down to 92.5%. <laughs> it's using quite a bit of energy. But that's fine. Guys, I tell you, this was the most relaxing drive I had for a long time. Because the battery was so full, I mean it was it was 99% full, and I had only 20 kilometers to master with this full battery. I didn't look on the gauge in the cockpit, I didn't look on the PHEV watchdog, I didn't look at any state of charges, I didn't look to anything. I enjoyed my podcast and was just driving. I even had the heating on, on 24. And it occasionally pops in a little bit with um, 500, 600, 700 watts to warm up the cabin a little bit. So it's nice and cozy in here. And um, what you should do when you use the heating, you should always um, put it on circulation. 
probably the same with um, aircon as well <clears throat> because it doesn't have to warm or cool the outside air it just uses the air which is already in here which is almost the same temperature and that's why the heating or the aircon turns off from time to time I don't even know if I go back into standard mode because in standard mode the air condition runs continuously or it runs on a higher stage not continuously but it runs on a far higher stage than on eco mode but it doesn't look like it does the same with the heating on so there's no change in heating okay that is fine <clears throat> see I still got 44.3 percent left so I didn't worry about any state of charges anything else any battery gauges oh look at this one third very nice and driving. I mean, how often do you check your remaining kilometers in your gas car? You don't really bother. You just drive wherever you want and then come back and you occasionally you have a quick look and yeah, you've got still three, four hundred kilometers in your tank, so don't worry about anything. Just drive. And this is the main thing. I'm so looking forward to get a full electric vehicle with a huge 60, 65, 80, 100 kilowatt battery and you've got three, four hundred kilometers in the battery and you don't worry about it. You just drive to wherever you want, you plug it in overnight to top it up a little bit and that's all you need to do. You don't need to stretch and get the most out of your battery like in the PHEV. You're always trying to to get all the kilometers out of the battery <laughs> I'm making all these measurements all these efficiency tests to get to get half a kilometer or to get one kilometer more out of the battery and to prevent the gas engine from kicking in so I really want this large battery I want it now it it will it will be so good not to look at any statistics not to look at the battery gauge not to look at the remaining kilometers you have to just drive in pure electric mode and knowing you've got so many kilometers still in the in the battery you don't need to worry about it i'm looking forward to it okay guys so far this little video from today um we see us in the next one thanks for watching thanks for your support this is andy from unplugged tv australia signing off and you stay charged and balanced see you next time bye bye